Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about the Web Companion app by Adaware, a program that may have unexpectedly appeared in your system. It has quite a few features that made me think about whether this program is effective and desirable. In this video, I will explain my suspicions to you, show where this program comes from and how to remove it. To start with, Web Companion is an application that works as a network filter. A thing that checks the active connections from the device to see whether anything malicious is going on. At the first glance, it is exactly what the program is doing, but just a bit of a closer look puts this in question. There are quite a few statistic bars on the main screen of the Web Companion app that are supposed to report on how much network connections are monitored and blocked for each category. What bothers me though is that these counters look exaggerated. As you can see from the screen record, there is not much going on in this system. I casually browse a few pages in Google Chrome, and that is it. But for some reason, the counter drastically changes with each open website. It does not show any live updates and requires me to switch tabs to make it update, but that's not that much of a problem. I understand, like, there are CDNs and internal domains and redirections and whatnots, but half a hundred of them for a few websites that doesn't look trustworthy. After rebooting the machine, drastic growth starts to appear in the other category. You see, I would take this number as legit. Shall this program run on a clean Windows installation that constantly connects to Microsoft servers to upload telemetry and other stuff? The problem here is that I've disabled the telemetry connection on this specific virtual machine. So this counter is not true either. And yes, the system is completely clean and there is not even a single thing that can create these connections. And if there would be a malicious item connecting to something in the background, then why did this program do nothing about it? One more detail that makes me think Web Companion may be an unwanted program is its spread in ways. This program indeed has an official website, which strangely changed its appearance several times while I was recording this video, but that is the least concern here. There are quite a few user comments that say Web Companion appeared after downloading another program, a completely unrelated one. What this means is that this program uses software bundling to get into user devices. I found mentions of three particular programs that carry a bundle with Web Companion in it. Those are Format Factory and BitTorrent, in both Classic and Web Edition. Bundling is considered an unwanted software spreading practice by the majority of security vendors, and quite a few apps got the status of an unwanted program because of this. So, if you never intended to install that campaign and, and this thing runs in your system along with several other programs of unknown origin, the best option will be to remove them all. Thing is, tracing and removing all of them will take quite some time and effort. With Gridensoft and Time Alware, you will be able to remove all the junkware from the device in just a couple of clicks. Run a standard scan. This will check the typical places where unwanted programs keep their files, and also find all the system changes that they have made. The scan takes around 5 minutes. When the scan is over, click clean out to remove the detected threats. Unwanted apps, as you may see, spawn myriad of files, so removing them all may take some time too. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.